The 2023 Formula One season has already got underway in Bahrain, and that signals not just the firing of the starting gun of a great season of motorsport and entertainment, but also the firing of the starting gun on a great year of engineering, innovation and technical development. And in fact, that technical development war has already got underway. And you can see that already on the Alfa Romeo. And one of the trends you're going to see this season in the technical development battles that are going on up and down the pit lane are really evident on this Swiss-built Italian branded car. Look just behind the front suspension on the Alfa and you can see coming into the first race they've introduced some new parts and these parts really sum up where they're getting inspiration from. You can see it just behind here coming down around the back end of the front suspension. Now these bulges on the car they are something that they've taken clear inspiration from the Mercedes team who introduced something very similar on the Mercedes W13 of last season. Now, this is a case of imitation being the sincerest form of flattery. A lot of F1 teams are looking at everybody else's cars and taking inspiration from them, not just with direct design solutions like this, but also with the overall concept of the car. And we're not just talking about simple things like the Ferrari front wing, which features these little, well, I can't think what to call them, sticky uppy bits, slot gap separators, which were introduced by Mercedes last season, but have been reintroduced by the Italian team, and curiously not Mercedes, because the Italians have taken a look at the Mercedes for, well, there's been a clarification of the rules. These are definitely legal now. Let's put them on our front wing and see if we can generate a little bit of outwash. Good ideas being copied by rival teams. And that's something that's a direct copy of what Mercedes did. What surprises me is that no other team so far in the pit lane has copied this concept. It's a matter of time, in my opinion, until everybody has their own version of these little slot gap separators. And I'm a bit surprised why Mercedes themselves haven't introduced something that they themselves invented. I think it's a matter of time. Now, the Mercedes front wing is interesting for a number of reasons, and we'll come back to it, because another Mercedes innovation that other teams are taking a look at is around the side of the car. And it's very clear to see here on the Alpha Tauri. Look at this wire that runs along the edge of the floor. Now, Alpha Tauri's engineers clearly decided that they didn't want the floor to follow the line of the technical regulations. But if the floor didn't follow the line of the technical regulations, the car is therefore illegal. Well, Mercedes again pointed this direction out last season and ran a very thin line of wire along the side of their floor. This kept the floor dimensionally legal, but allowed the engineers to have it the shape that they wanted because the wire didn't really have a big aerodynamic impact. Well, Alpha Tauri are one of a number of teams including Mercedes, who are also using this legality wire concept. And that's been copied up and down the pit lane. I expect to see quite a lot more of that as the season goes on. But these innovations, this copycat development, isn't the only sort of development you're going to see during the season. Sometimes technical development comes as a reason of necessity. And no clearer is this down at McLaren, who had all sorts of problems during pre-season testing with bits of their brake cooling apparatus falling apart. Those wheel browsers they're sometimes called just kept on cracking and failing, perhaps as a result of the heat from the brakes, which now have a slightly different set of regulations around them. No more cooled brake pads, for example, so the teams are going to have to develop to deal with that around the brake cooling packages, but also with the wheel browse themselves. I think McLaren had tried to make those wheel browse a little bit too lightweight, and in testing when they had that problem and had to come out with all of these fixes, trying to bond it back together with the heat guns, ending up having to put big old heavy and ugly patches that looked like they'd gone down to the local hardware store and bolted together, they came back to the race weekend with a far neater solution. But I suspect this solution on the McLaren was much, much heavier. But it works and that's crucial for them. But you're gonna see this development that almost you can't see because it's about weight saving. So it's a little bit of a thicker material, perhaps much thicker ply in the carbon fiber, Maybe that's where McLaren have gone with this to make sure those parts literally don't fall apart. Back at Woking in the factory, they'll be trying to make those thinner designs, the lighter designs, work with the demands of a modern racing car. So necessity of innovation, necessity of development. That's another trend we're gonna follow all the way through the season. 
then there is straight up innovation. And there is some of that on display on the grid. The Haas team have been fantastic at this. They've come up with an exploit of an area of the technical regulations that nobody else really realized was available. You can see it here, the two little winglets that come sticking out from the inside of the front wing end plate. Now those little winglets are something that you will also see on the Mercedes inside their front wing end plate. The thing about the Mercedes solution is it's the other way up to the Haas solution. So you can see the Haas wing, winglet comes up and it's a very typical F1 style wing. So you have that very sensible wing shape like this. That's what you'd normally see. However, the Mercedes version is the opposite way up, more like an aircraft wing. So the two teams have come up with very similar exploits on the same area of the car, but working in a completely different way. They will be looking at each other to work out who got it wrong, or have they both got it right, but in different ways. Very interesting little bit of technology there from both the Haas team and the Mercedes team. And then last of all, there is just your routine development for performance. Last season, we saw the Mercedes powered cars struggle for straight line speed all the way through the season. It wasn't just the works team, it was Aston Martin, McLaren. They all had that problem of aerodynamic efficiency, try to get down the straight as quickly as possible. Well, dealing with that problem coming into the Bahrain Grand Prix, Mercedes has introduced a new, much lower drag rear wing onto their car. You can see the section here is much shallower than the section they used in pre-season testing. This should give them a bit more top speed and it does seem in practice to be working out. They certainly have the speed advantage for the first time really over the Ferrari powered cars, though they're not quite matching those Honda powered cars of Red Bull. So it's a little bit of development in that direction Will we see Mercedes trying to run a lower drag concept car through the season to deal with perhaps a performance deficit from the power unit? That's something you're gonna see each team dealing with, the power unit versus the aerodynamic forces of the car. And there are lots of these innovations up and down the pit lane. They're already piling up lots of detail parts on the cars. And this development war is gonna build up in intensity as the season develops, not just into Saudi Arabia in a couple of weeks time or up to Barcelona, which are much later than normal, it's going to go all year long because we've got stable regulations into next season. I'm really looking forward to all of these technical developments and I hope you'll be watching it with us here because I think it's going to be absolutely fascinating.